Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. Hello and welcome back to Meadowgrove. My name is John Greenway. You probably know me better as the cattle farmer. We are about to get our grass mown. And we come past the gate and we shall now unfold it. Uh, yeah, we will set it running, drop it down, and our new tractor that replaced one of the old ones, the Fiat. Nice little tractor this, it's nice and handy without the front mud guards on, you can see exactly what you're doing when you're doing jobs like this. You may actually buy an updated version of this in the New Holland logos see what happens going forward with that but uh, it is nice to have these tractors and nice and handy uh, round we go and up we go to the top this is the first of the fields we've got to cut, several fields to cut, we want to get some more silage made and some more hay to put in the mixer we may have to buy ourselves some more straw to last us until harvest but it uh, shouldn't be too long getting round to harvest, there's the noise of the total mix ration mixer we shall now come to the top of here lift up the mower good thing with this is it nicely drops the grass in trails so it's a nice mower for cutting the grass we'll get it two fields are going to be baled two are going to be deaded This Fiat really is working well. We bought it just after we finished all the fertilising. So uh, nice light airy cab good views all around as you can see you can see all around you pretty easily it is a lovely machine it's not a modern machine by any chance but uh, it is modern to what we've had on the farm up until now could do with another tractor it 
to stay at the cow yard for sorting out the manure spreading, the slurry spreading. And also for the uh, feeding of the cows. Thinking that we may leave the. I do know where there's another one of these for sale, but it's the New Holland version when New Holland first took over the Fiat brand and changed the name from Fiat to New Holland. this all done and bailed up. I may bail it up as grass and just throw it straight into the or we may also buy ourselves a silage trailer, say so bail in the silage and uh, got good poo cows we do need to feed the cows very soon at the minute we want to be getting the grass cut ready for the next lot of silage need to clean the animals out it may well be next time we This is grown well this grass. We do need to get some slurry spread on here once it's cut to make sure that the next crop is a bumper harvest as well. But, uh, that will come once we get all the grass mown and uh, teddied and baled. <coughs> we have thought about getting another loader tractor on the farm which cool. come into the fields to Sort the bales out, but the two closest fields to the mixer, this one and the one across the roadway from us, is going to be the silage. This has still got the row crops on from the last field we had to fertilise when we bought it. It did replace the other Fiat which it was a nice tractor but it was a little slow on the road and working here alone for the most part needed to be getting about as quickly as we could. Don't want to be dawdling along the roads at 15 miles per hour to get jobs done. This one will do 26 miles per hour so it's great for the farm going forward. And so we need another tractor. The case that we've been using 
We'll stay at the palm as the workhorse for the water. And feed and carting manure and manure spreading, slurry spreading, and things like that. So we may well be buying another tractor going forward. I've got the money to buy it actually, so uh, may pop to the yard and ring the dealers and see if it's come yet not sure which one this is what we bought I think there's two variants of it this is the 11090 as you can see nice tractor so we'll see if we can get in touch with them and buy the New Holland variant which will be the main carting tractor from the combine and things this one will be powerful enough to take the potatoes up so it may well stay on the row crops for the rest of its life now we did buy a set of other wheels with it This is all and where we go again. And this is working very nicely this mower may well be replaced at some point get ourselves a bigger mower so this tractor will stay probably on the narrow wheels for spraying fertilizing mowing this grass where you don't need the traction of a normal one the international could be just used in the cow farm for when we are as I say slurry spreading and everything so another one of these would be nice may even be able to find one at the shop I did say there's another one coming in from the same farmer as had this one who has upgraded to a in place of this he's bought himself a T6 and he's thinking of getting rid of the other one for a T7 Also, we are thinking about getting a council contract where we'll be needed to go and cut the roadsides from time to time. Right, so we're still working on that, still in discussion with the council over a price per year to do it. It will help us very much going forward. This is now coming around here. Get these, this field done and baled, the other one next door to it done and baled. And made into silage bales and the other two fields will be kept for the 
doing the hay which also will be going straight direct into the mixer wagon it may take a day or two to get all these jobs done <coughs> this is now Not sure how much feed we've got left in the mixer wagon, but the cows will need some feed going forward. Could also buy another way. I do know a farmer who's privately selling an old Renault, which would be good for the farm work. That's being used on this cattle farm for the same job, just manure spreading. It's not the tidiest of tractors, but it is cheap. Which would help out a great deal. Right, so we shall now go round either side of this to These all done. Just go straight up and down, and the bales will be taken out from that. straight up here, straighten this end off. Good thing about using the row crops. take up a little bit of time getting these shorter rows done. It will save us having bendy rows to follow every time. last piece here done I like the sound of this tractor it sounds lovely uh, about halfway through the video now so we can have a look at what's going forward some of farm estates tell us that they are looking forward to seasons mod in the next few days we'll give the farming simulator comp people the same benefits of working out the seasons the way we do on here on our real life farm here on Meadow Grove still very grateful for 
some of our mistakes for letting us upload our videos Oops, again our on their channel. Very, very nice of them. Soon getting through this field will be next time you join us we will be bailing the silage. And we should get it wrapped ready for carting and dumping straight into the may not bring the trailer into him, may just come and Spear the bales, take them straight to the total mix ration mixer. Save loading them and unloading them just outside the gate. We'll need to get the tray bales for the because they are a good way off one of the fields, especially is down at the other farm that we bought in the dispersal sale. This is now working nicely. Almost to the end of this first field of grass. She's also coming to the end of the day. Everything. quickly to an end now. are getting to a bit of a point at this end of the field. I'm definitely getting into the shorter bits now. It shouldn't be too long now before we are finished in here. These two fields done, get them bailed, get them wrapped, and then we can do the two A fields 
And this also will mean that we've got enough jobs to do going forward. And so we have got the cows to feed tomorrow as well. Get the milk taken to the milk marketing board. With delivering it we do get a bit of a premium on price although we have got to take it to them as a lot of farms are actually they are actually now beginning to phase out their tankers for collections and getting people to take their own milk in so it saves them the job of having lorry drivers it saves them wages lorries aren't cheap to buy I do know the newest lorry they've got down at the milk market marketing board collection place at the minute is a 2012 lorry which is a few years old I think they've got three down there they've got the 2012 2000 the 51 plate 2001 three drivers wages to play as well as holiday pay and of course sickness and holiday cover to pay so just cost them a good bit to get the milk transported they have got a flat bed which takes the milk to the supermarkets uh, even that they are now getting the supermarkets to bring their own lorries over to collect the milk when they need it Two bits here done. take this up to the yard and go and see Mrs Greenway so she'll follow, come down to the shop with us and we shall go and see about this other tractor we'll just park this into the next field that's going to be cut which is this one this field we shall cut so we shall stop that we shall go pick the truck up go down to the shop And the last job for today will be going down there to pick up this truck. So if you just bear with us and we shall have a quick jump cut and 
join you back. Okay, we have got Mrs. Greenway here. We will go down and we have found the dealer whilst it is away from you. And they have got the other New Holland. He's been and collected the T7. So they have the other New Holland in. I said it's a nice looking tractor. It's a 139. 90, not the 11090 as we've got with the Fiat. So, uh, oh, bit of a turn in there. We'll have to get that repaired. Got that grass field to our right there to cut as well. That is another one of the fields that will be A. Go and collect this tractor, which means that the international will be kept at the cow farm. This one will do the unless we use the international for the carting and then use this one. And we'll now behind it, took him behind. That misses. Drive that one, and here it is, the New Orleans 13090, which a little bit more power than the Fiat one. And it has pretty much the same tractor as we've got in Fiat form, but. Uh, this is the one where New Holland started selling them as New Hollands after they bought in with the Fiat name. And you need to watch this car out of here. Mrs. Greenway following in the mirror. <coughs> so we are now getting down to the yard with this. We will put the baler on it. Give it a run on the baler. Our oh, nice tractors and certainly a lot FP better. 35 and the Massey Ferguson 35. We had in the last series that we put out. And it was a short lived series. But uh, yeah, the viewing figures seem good according to some of Palmer State. So we. And now continuing on and potatoes there are nicely through and they're growing well. So let's get this to the yard and then that is where we shall leave you for today. So that is where we're going to finish for today. There's our lovely new New Holland 13090. Not new, but new to us. It's got the weights on the front. If you've enjoyed this vlog, please give it a like, give it a share, drop us a comment. Some of our mistakes will pass the messages on. If you're new to some of our mistakes and you'd like to see more of the work that's done on the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon, it will tell you when these videos are released, when 
they do the live streams. Until next Thank time. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.